Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy. Hey guys, today we're bringing another quick review and that is of the Note 10.1 2014 edition. Now this is the OctaCore model um, and I've often contemplated about switching uh, to the LTE model. Now before I go over that, let me explain what this has to offer. This tablet is by far my favorite tablet out there, really. It just has all the best of the best, in my opinion, uh, for quick usage, for uh, just the perfect screen quality. Um, it's far beyond 1080p and it shows. When you're watching a video on here, it definitely just uh, stands out uh, very clearly and uh, looks very well done. And of course, you have this as well, which is split screen. So you can have two apps simultaneously open at the same time. This is something that even the Surface tablet couldn't do till this year. So needless to say, it stands out uh, very well when it comes to watching things in perfect quality and obviously doing two things at once. The split screen has added a bunch of uh, features to it as well. So you have a lot more apps than you used to and now it's really easy to add more just by seeing all the apps that uh, have right, you have right away, as well as just in the Play Store to add a new apps right away as well. So a uh, very easy process overall, and it just works very well. Now, when it comes to the S Pen, you have all the same benefits as you do on regular, uh, on the regular Note 3. So you have Action Memo, Air Command, and Pen Window, allowing you for more multitasking and a lot of quick, useful features for the pen. The pen input as well is really accurate. When you're trying to uh, write down anything, just even say on Google, you can really write to text very accurately. And it does a very good job. Now, when using it for gaming, you're not gonna be disappointed at all. It has pretty much one of the best quality gaming I have yet to see on any device and it plays uh, very well. Not to mention this device can still be used with a PS3 controller which makes it again very good. In terms of battery life, you're definitely going to get a day's usage out of this um, if you are an average user. If you're a heavy user, you'll still get at least uh, 8 to 10 hours depending on how you use it for that particular day but it won't run out on you uh, any quicker than that, really. Uh, overall, in terms of light users, you're gonna get definitely a couple of days out of here, and the standby time is pretty well off. When it comes to performance, you get an occasional lag with the OctaCore, and that's the only thing that I'm thinking of getting the um, Snapdragon 800 version, which is the LTE model. Now, this tablet is 599, uh, for the 32 gig and 549 for the 16 gig. I recommend getting the 32 gig if you are going to get a higher end tablet like this, or if not, you're better off with other tablets on the market. Uh, overall though, you won't be disappointed if you want the best of the best in Android. This really seems to stand out as it. Whether that's true or not, we'll see when we compare it to other products such as uh, not only on Android, but as well as the iPad Air and comparing to the Surface 2. All right, guys, if you have any other questions about this device, feel free to ask. And if you found this video informative, please give a like or thumbs up down below. Thank you for watching. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy.